Hi guys, welcome back to another reaction video. So I'm going to continue reacting to Luna's like explanation videos of their lore, and I'm going to react to uh, the video from Luminosity again. And this is the part two: common misconceptions. And yeah, it they have a third part, and it's like a 41 minute video, and I'm not sure if I'm going to react to that, but I think if I'm going to like trying to if I'm going to try to understand the lore, I will need to like see these videos. Yeah, okay, so let's start watching. Hello everyone, welcome back to Luminosity. In this episode of our basic series, we're going to build upon the introductory episode by clarifying common misconceptions about the lore. So, let's dive into the Lunaverse. Luna's videos contain a lot of subtle details, yeah. some of which are shown through quickly passing or ambiguous imagery. Yeah, that's Although true. Although this makes them interesting to watch, it also makes it far harder to discern what exactly is yes. being shown, leading to vastly different interpretations. Thankfully, other sources such as backstage photos or information from the production staff can provide the answers. Backstage photos. In Love Cherry Motion, Chwari awakens upside down in a strange place and is blinded by a blonde girl holding a mirror. The out of focus shot makes it difficult to identify exactly who this girl is, but she was commonly assumed to be either Kim Lip or Jin Sol. Until Luna X Study Group, where Kim Lip disclosed that she was the mysterious girl all along. <laughs> Oh, they really, they Girlfriend really reveal the facts. A girl circling little around little. Odd Eye Circle. Luna Chick shows an extended cut of this scene, revealing a cassette player in her hand, one of the many visual symbols in Luna's videography. She is sometimes thought to be Hyunjin due to the latter's cameo appearance in Girlfriend, among other reasons. However, Girlfriend's description seems to reference the girl with the line. Another girl yet to be introduced revolves around Odd Eye Circle, suggesting that her identity is among the members of the final subunit, Eve, Chu, Go Won, or Olivia He. In New, Eve is seen sitting at a table with a cassette player and five cassette tapes, a clear callback to the opening of Every Day I Love You. When she picks up Vivi's tape, the surface of the case appears to be fractured, the illusion of cracks on the case are simply tree branches behind Vivi, which can be seen more easily in the original teaser image. Also, Eve later cracked. chooses what? two animal plushies from the claw machine. The first appears to be a frog and the second... a penguin? Comparing the footage to this teaser image reveals which two plushies were chosen by Eve. A frog for Yojin and an owl for Kim Lip. Choose Penguin is on the bottom right and also appeared in Heart Attack. I think I'm getting more confused as I Live animals this. are seen throughout <laughs> Egoist in quick flashing shots. Oh yeah, I think with this one is in like particular uh, standing out from the rest. Only. It's frequently thought to be a deer, Vivi's representative animal. The close-up shot and harsh filtering make it hard to tell, yeah. but the animal is actually a wolf rather than a deer, which is reaffirmed by the source of the stock footage used. One is an unsettling video that some consider to be a teaser for YY by Y's eventual repackage of Beauty on the Beat. It was actually first shown as an undisclosed short film at Cinema Theory Up and Line in Busan and was officially uploaded six days later as YY by Y's secret. Luna's YouTube videos are usually labeled with two square brackets, yet one's label is not teaser, but rather blank. This marks the earliest appearance of the mysterious blank label, which has rarely been used since. The release of X2X established a link between Gowan and Hassel, as both the teaser and Let Me In were filmed in Iceland. In light of this connection, the French line at the climax of Let Me In seems to be uttered in Gowan's distinctive crunchy tone. Mm -hmm. 
However, during an interview with Star News, Gowan clarified that she was not involved at the start of the Luna project. She joined BBC in January 2018, over a year after Let Me In's release, and so she could not have participated in the song's recording. So? If you're in orbit who's interested in the Lunaverse, chances are you've heard the words Read the description box, starting from Sonatine. Luna's video descriptions are usually long and detailed, explaining the concept of the album and the lore pertaining to it. Even though these descriptions only started appearing on YouTube with Sonatine's release, they actually existed from the start of the project, just in a different format. Each title track's YouTube description is an English translation of that album's press release, which can be found as the album's uh... description on Korean music sites. The description boxes of the title tracks before Sonatine are virtually empty like, because their album press all releases were never officially translated. All of the music videos are connected together. Thankfully, Reddit user like from the very John beginning, has provided an English translation for each very of them, recent ones, which is linked and below. And upcoming videos to come. Theories. BBC does not explain each and every detail about the Lunaverse, okay. encouraging Orbis to endlessly speculate and craft intricate theories based on their personal understanding of Luna's story. These can range from the divine, the violent, the supernatural, the scientific, as well as countless other concepts. So many theories from the fans. Any theory is really just one of the many ways of interpreting the enigmatic tale unfolding with every release. However, misconceptions arise when a theory is believed to be a fact. That's why exploring each other's perspectives and verifying what's canonical through the multitude of official sources available are both key parts of uncovering the mysteries of the Lunaverse. And no. She's not Grimes. She's not what? <laughs> Official sources available are both key parts of uncovering the mysteries of the Lunaverse. And no, she's not Grimes. What? She's not what? Thanks for watching. Okay, Our this? references can be found in the description box below. If you have found in the description. Thanks for watching. Our references can be found in the description box below. If you have any questions about the video, Push. feel free to leave a comment. Stay tuned for the next episode, where we'll be covering Luna One Third and Yojin. Oh, Grimes. <laughs> okay, they have a very intricate storyline. Like, it's very, like, the more you dwell in deeper into it, the more you are... You get confused, actually. <laughs> no, no, I think it's just me. The more you get into it, the more you get like interested, or the more interesting it gets. And yeah, I definitely will need to watch these like videos of like theories. It's very interesting how the uh, other people interpret it. And Luna has like the most complicated storyline I've ever seen a group do. Yeah, and like I mean, each music video, each. Release is like very planned, well planned, and, and yeah, I feel like it's the story is not never going to end. And okay, so yeah, I'm definitely going to like check out the explanations uh, in the future later. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and as always, if you guys enjoyed this video, please give a like, comment, and subscribe to support me. And that was my reaction to Luna First Basics 2 Common Misconceptions by Luminosity. I'm going to link the video in the description box down below. So, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I'll see you guys in the next videos. Bye!